Hello, this is Auntie Eva reading Goldilocks and the Three Koalas and this is by Kel and Claire Richards. Everyone called her Goldilocks, although her name was Shirley because she had a mass of hair, fluffy, blonde and curly. There she is. She loved to go on long bush walks. She always walked alone. A foolish thing to do, of course, even with a mobile phone. Did you spot the Australian animals in the picture? Then one day, after walking far and feeling not too well, she came upon a wattle hut and rang the front doorbell. There's the hut. She is ringing the bell. Do you think anyone's going to be at home? Her ring remained unanswered, but the door swung open wide. So after calling out, Good day, she boldly walked inside. On the cottage walls she saw a map of the small town of Safala, several flying china ducks and a photo of Father Koala. There's Father Koala. The cottage was deserted. With breakfast laid for three, she tried the gum leaf porridge but cried, This one's too hot for me! Shirley, known as Goldilocks, tried sitting in the chairs, but she found them all too hard, too soft, or covered in long grey hairs. She tiptoed to the bedroom and tried out all the beds. This one's too hard. This one's too soft. But this is just right, she said. Just then, the koalas got back home after their morning stroll. Our porridge should be cool by now, said Mum. In fact, quite cold. Who's been eating my porridge? Father Koala muttered and sitting upon the furniture angrily he spluttered. Father, mother, come here quick! Baby called from the bedroom door. 
then they saw young Shirley asleep and heard her loudly snore. Shirley woke up with a sudden start and she saw she wasn't alone. But Shirley didn't panic. She reached for her mobile phone. Triple O, she rapidly dialed and said, Police come quick! While the puzzled koalas were looking on, the police arrived in the nick. of time, that is, and picked up Shell and took her straight back home. And the motto is, when you go out, always carry a mobile phone. I hope you enjoyed listening to that story, Infinite Love and Gratitude.